What's up, Rerock boys? Hey, look, we got our first member of the channel, man. Like the videos for one. You gotta like the videos before you become a member. Like the videos. Feel me? Like the videos. Then go to my channel. Press join, bro. You can become a member of the channel. First free members. First couple members, I'm gonna be sending some free merch to to test out. Tell me if y'all like it. How you feel me? How I feel when y'all high look when y'all watch it, all that type of stuff. But yeah, man. Thank y'all. We almost at 80k. Thank you to the Ready Rock family. But everybody say what up to the newest member and the first member of the channel, man. Welcome to the Rerock Boys. DM me on Instagram so I can get with you and ship out your uh your merch, man. Thank you. Hey, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, really. All right, YouTube. Bet. Listen. I'm making this video because I've been getting a lot of DMs, comments about the micro ARPs, right? Yo bro this, yo bro that, yo bro this, yo bro that, yo bro this, yo bro that, yo bro this, yo bro that. And it's been like 50-50, right? I get half the people telling me, bro, what you telling me about the ARPs work? My ARP work flawless with you. Then you got other half the people. Bro, it's trash, it doesn't work, and jam after every shot. Mm -hmm. I need I need help. So basically, today, this is about the 762 micro AR pistol. I'm gonna be telling y'all about the five, five, sixes as well, but Right now we talking about this, so it is clear. It is clear, no mag is in it. Every time I had a mag in it, YouTube don't want to monetize the gun. Guess cause it got the little big curl, but. Okay, so, now. Y'all have to understand, <clears throat> when you build the 762 AR, any length, it's always gonna be some problems, bro. The 762 round was not made to go in that AR platform it's that simple bro so if you do want one of those you can't be mad that you got to do extra things to get yours to run you hear me like if you're gonna be that mad bro just get a five five six two two three three hundred blackout leave it at that get a five five six or two two three i'm not even gonna say three hundred blackout get a five five six or two two three and just leave it at that you won't have no problems your ar gonna run just fine you probably gotta do some little buffer adjustment but that's easy now, when it comes to a five inch micro ARP, right? You gotta understand, this is a 7.62 round, full of powder. This is a five inch barrel. Just off that, you should know you have to put an adjustable gas block on it. Like, it's just, it's just simple, bro. You should know you gotta adjust the gas. Like, you should know that, bro. You feel me? Secondly, with this micro buffer, you may experience the problems. Like, all right, put it like this. They say you're supposed to put Loctite on here. I'm not doing that. I don't, I don't like the Loctite. No. With this 762 and the micro buffer, the only problem I run into is these. It just it just shatters. It breaks these. I don't know how. I don't know why, but it breaks these. Now, another problem you could, you're going to run into. It, all right, it's, it, it could be three problems, right? You can get the... Failure to extract, which is very common with the 7.62 and the AR platform. Very common. You can get the failure to extract, the failure to feed, and you can get the light primer strikes, right? So off the rip, you got to automatically upgrade your boat, right? I got a failed safe boat, a nickel boron boat, right? As you see, before I put this boat in, I took it to the range and shot twice. Before I put this boat in, and it jammed both times, and I had to pry the bullet from out of it. Boom. I put this boat in, it saw those problems, okay? You gotta upgrade the boat, bro. Why? 762, a dirty round. This is a small barrel. You shoot this 10 times, listen, this is a small gun, small barrel. You shoot this 10 times, the gun is already dirty. You feel me? The gun, the gun is dirty, you shoot this 10 times. The gun is dirty, you shoot this 10 times. It's dirty, it's already dirty. The barrel already got stuff in it. So it's already going through, you know? So just having a, a more, you know, expensive, pricier boat should do the job, not in every case. See what I'm saying? Cause then it might be more than a boat. It may be <clears throat> your firing pin. It may be, it may not, it may be more than your boat. It may be your gas. Like you not getting enough gas to blow the boat back enough to pick up the next round. You see what I'm saying? Like, gas is the number one priority. You gotta upgrade your gas system. Second gonna be the buff, the boat. If you running this buffer, you have to make sure you put this on right. 
just because this is a 762, so the way it's going to operate is going to be crazy. Like, I'm actually thinking about taking this buffer off because it's like, it's okay on the 556, it's manageable. It's terrible with this, bro. Like, I had to put my sling on to help with the recoil. Now, with the sling, it's better, but it's like, it would be 10 times better if I just put a brace on her. So, think about bracing this. But this is for you guys who want to keep this on her. You know, to do, do whatever you want to do with it. You got to make sure you install this right. Can't install your buffer plunger. And you got to make sure this is on enough so it get a, it get enough room to go <laughs> to work back and forth. You see what I'm saying? Now, I just took this to the range yesterday. And, like, the round is so powerful, bro. Like, everything comes loose. Like, everything just starts to come loose. Look at this. I didn't even, I haven't tightened it back up yet because I just want to show you guys. I probably shot, like, 120 rounds. This automatically came loose. Now, this is the first time I ever had my castle nut come loose. But this was loose. I could have tightened it by hand. I've just been tightening it by hand until I did this video, so it's not as loose. But after that, it was very loose. So, this big bullet is hell out of this platform. Like, the only reason I built these is because I'm a YouTuber and I'm only doing it for range purposes. Like, I don't carry this. I 100% carry my Draco before I carry this. But, if I'm bracing it and using it to defend myself... I would choose this over the Draco because I'm going to have a brace on it. Obviously, I got the dot. And with the braces, it's going to be 10 times better to shoot. You feel me? But you can shoot it well with a sling. You can you can manage that recoil well. But it's just like if I wasn't on no YouTube shit, I really wouldn't do it unless I just wanted to. You know, I, like I would just collect guns. That's the only reason I do I like guns, so I do it on some damn this hard type shit. But like I said, putting my life on the line, no, wouldn't do it. Would not do it. Nah, back to what we're talking about. Shooting a 7.62 out of this little platform is hell and it beats the gun up like after every range day. It's so dirty. I'm talking about everything. It's so dirty. Like it gets to the point where <clears throat> I have to clean the chamber because it just be so caked up. Just be so dirty. It's that big bullet. It's little platform. Like the bullet is damn near bigger than a barrel. You see what I'm saying? So. You can't expect to go on the website, go to put the price to lowest to high, order the lowest kit, put it together, go to the range and be like, oh man, what you told me didn't work. Bro, you ain't upgrade your gas block. You ain't upgrade your boat. You feel me? Like, you, you didn't do what you had to do. Like I'm telling you, this right now, as it is right now, why I lose? I could put 30 rounds, I could put a full of mag up right now, take it to the range. It's gonna shoot every, every bullet. See what I'm saying? But it's going to be harsh. It's going to be nasty. It's going to be... If I got the sling, it'll be cool. You see what I'm saying? But, like, if I'm just not going out there to rapid fire and get fireballs, it's, no really, it's really no point for it. I'm telling you guys, it's really no point for it. But it do look cool. You see what I'm saying? Like, cool-looking build, bro. Like, if you like guns and you're interested in guns and you build this and you just be on some range shit, that's cool. But building these for a defense weapon... If you're going to build one of these for a defense weapon, build it in 5.56. Five, Five five six, cause I'm telling you, five five six was the only time I built a micro AR. Now I built a bunch of these. The only time I built a micro AR, bought the cheapest kit, put it together, took it to the range, and it didn't fail one time. With the five five sixes, it was this size, different buffer, same type of trigger. The boat it came with, I got the kit for so cheap, like it surprised me. So that let me know right there that five five six will perform better out of this platform. See what I'm saying? Yes, the velocity will be trash. But like I say, if you just want something small, it's going to do the job, bro. Simple as that. So don't build these and use the parts that they sent you. You got to upgrade. Like, you can't use the parts they sent you for. You got to you gotta change the gas block out. You got to upgrade the buffer. And me, I just like upgrading the trigger so it hit that steel a little harder. Because it's 762. We're going to shoot the cheapest stuff we find. You see what I'm saying? But you can't get mad. Like I say, these could be good guns. You just have to put more. Put it like this. These guns, you go get a kit probably for about around $300. The $300 kit, which you putting the work into, is going to turn into like $800, $900 bill. See what I'm saying? That's what you putting the work into it. But if you just buy the $300 kit, put it together, 
And you can't get mad because it jam. Because they not, <clears throat> on the site, they not saying, yeah, it's going to work every time. They not, because they know they give you the cheapest parts possible. They know they give me the cheapest parts possible. Like, it's, it's just, it is what it is. So, with that being said, don't DM me being mad at me, gang. Get your money in right. Listen to this. Get your paper up, nigga. Look, 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 what you gotta do? Get your paper up, bro. Just upgrade your shit. Don't get mad at me. I'm not gonna give a damn. Like, look at this dude. I'm gonna be like, look at cool. He mad for no reason. Money on, right? Mm -hmm. Oh snap! Money on, right? Upgrade your shit. If you upgrade, if you upgrade your gas block, get a good boat, and possibly upgrade your trigger, and still having problems, bro. Take this micro buffer off, and I bet you won't have no problems. The problems could just be the micro buffer, because like I say, when I had, I built two seven six two micro ARPs. Okay. The other one, it doesn't have a micro buffer. It got the regular standard tool. And I've never had a problem with that one. That's because you can change the weight on them. You see what I'm saying? These, that you can't change the weight on these. These is a, it's an integrity. It's a, damn, man. My fuck. It's an in, internal boat system. See what I'm saying? Like it goes off the power of the round, pushing it back. Using gravity to bring it back. As far as when you got to set boat weight, Pushing it back off the spring, you see what I'm saying? That's why if you having problems, just get rid of it, bro. The Strike Industries pistol tool will work as well, and that's probably like that much bigger. You see what I'm saying? That will work as well. It, it it's not a hit or miss with these micro buffer tools, but as like I say, like you gotta put them together right, and you gotta clean them. You have to clean these too. Once you shoot the gun, you can't just clean the, the chamber and the the boat. You have to clean this as well. Oil that spring up. Take the little black part out. Wipe that down. Get all the carbon built off of it. Because these, the things, it will break. I broke a couple. You can't, Then when you break a couple, when you break it, you can't just order the piece. You got to order a whole new system. So, it's like cleaning. You have to clean these guns. You have to clean the guns. You got to make sure you put them together right. And then, like, for those who don't upgrade the trigger. Make sure you're not putting your hammer spring on backwards because a lot of guys DM me like, bro, who you whoop? And I have them show me like the trigger and hammer, like the spring be on backwards. I did that wrong on my first one too. But when I fixed it, it was more. See what I'm saying? And then I say, get a charging handle that releases some of the gas because this is a old, like, no matter how much you change the gas, it's still so much gas. So just try to get stuff that lets gas out of a lot of places. Like the strike energy pistol tool. Gas just shoots out the tool. That's why I took it off, cause you shoot three shots, you dizzy. You shoot three shots, it's like you hit a bottle. Simple as that. So this is very gassy. If you gonna have a problem, you might <clears throat> put it like this. You're gonna have problems with these. It's a, it's, that's what comes with a build. That's the part of that's the fun of building. Find a problem, fix it, take it to the range. When you feel better, if you found the problem fixed, you got it to run flawless, you'll feel better. Because I did it, and I felt better. So these could be, you know what I say? Not could be. These are good range toys. That's what I keep telling you. I'm not telling you all to go out there and put your life in danger with these. Because I'm not. I'm not even in the streets. Fuck the porch. I'm in the back room on the game. I'm playing the game. I'm not in the streets, so I can't tell you. Yeah, bro, go put your life in the line with this. I'll be lying to you. You see know what I'm saying? I take this up to the range, though, and I beef with those targets. And they do the job when, when I get in the beef with the range, the targets. You see what I'm saying? So I'm telling you to build one of these if you want to have it as a range toy. That's what I that's what I originally was telling everybody. So stop DMing me like I'm telling y'all, build these. Yeah, boy, you're going to be the hardest nigga on the block. You're going to be able to do this. You're going to be able to do that. That's not what I told y'all. See what I'm saying? You got to stop that. Don't DM me talking about all that. It jammed on me. That's your fault. I didn't tell you to be on the block with that on live. This and your homies telling them to pop out you got a micro. I didn't tell you to do that. I didn't tell you to do that. See what I'm saying? So if you want to build a good range toy, that's eye candy. And if you're a content creator for, on some guns, it's going to pull views just because it's a micro AR.
know what I'm saying, bro? So, with that being said, if you want a good one that you can get running with this good, good with a micro buffer, just build a 556, bro. 556 will do amazing. 556223, it handles, it's not even that gassy. It's not that much recoil. I would choose that over one of these. If you want a folk, if you want a personal defense five five, I mean, if you want a personal defense seven six two, get that one p, get the maximum PDW. Go pay that couple bands. I'm pretty sure that'll run. Get that or something. If not, bro, if you ain't building these to just be good range toys. Have fun with them. Don't DM me. Simple as that. Cause like I say, I'm not in the streets. I can't help you with the streets. It's not my beef. It's your beef. I just build guns, go to the gun range. Simple as that, bro. So, these could be good builds. You will have to put money in them. No, you can't go order the cheapest parts and load the cheapest parts out there and think it's going to run, bro. Because it's not. See what I'm saying? So, range video coming tomorrow. I got, I'm going to show you all the difference between shooting it with this, shooting it with this pistol tube, and then shooting it with the, uh, Strike Industries pistol tube. So I'm gonna show y'all the difference shooting it with a stock, a micro buffer, and a Strike Industry pistol tube. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video.